Hi guys, this is Andy with Troglodyne. My brother's got an update today for TCMS. He's been making rapid progress over the last week and a half or so. Uh, so we figured it was a good time to give you an update. So without further ado, I'll hand it over to George. Hey guys. So basically the first thing that we needed to do was simplify the configuration model and port it over to Perl and then simplify the theming model. So that's sort of what we're going to go over here today. Uh, let's hop over here. So you can see sort of how TCMS normally looks, right? Uh, but this is the actual Perl version. We can uh, hop into the uh, terminal here. You can see it's actually running as a PSGI application with Starman. And to just sort of give you an idea, uh, the setup is a lot simpler now. It's basically just make depend and then you run Starman and you've got the server running. The idea would be that if you're actually running in production, it's a PSGI application running with Nginx or whatever server that you actually want to run it with. Uh, that's going to be a little bit more powerful. So anyways, uh, to go over sort of the simplification of the theming model, uh, let's take a look in www. Uh, so basically you have a folder here uh, for themes. Uh, so Basically, we've got the teodesian.net theme here so that I can show you sort of what it takes to actually turn into teodesian.net since that's what TCMS was originally for and what it's used for. So basically, you're going to have a router module that tells you any kind of custom uh, routes you have. Like, for example, teodesian.net has a links page. That's one of the routes that you'd have there. And it's got its own images, it's got its own CSS, and it's got its own templates. So we've simplified the CSS a great deal. Uh, over the old one where it would load different CSS totally based on what theme you are. Now it's just doing the normal CSS practice of loading all the normal CSS and then all the theme CSS is simply loaded after that so that it uh, inherits and overrides it correctly. So this way the styles that you write are actually pretty minimal. We can take a look here. Uh, So for example, we've got uh, structure, which is sort of the main CSS, right? Really, this is all there is that you need to make uh, the normal TCMS into teodesian.net. Similarly, you can take a look at the, uh, not structure, but it's uh, screen, the screen CSS. It's not a whole lot. It's about, you know, 45, yeah, it's 66 lines. That's it. That's yeah, it mostly seems to be regarding branding and some of the responsive video rules. Yeah, it's it's not really that complicated, and some of it probably can be uh, taken out, in fact, and simplified even more. Uh, yeah, certainly, like the main the responsive video rules can probably be mainlined. Oh yeah, yeah, we definitely want to uh, evaluate some of that. There's certainly a lot of things in TOD.net that I want to mainline into TCMS that we've been building over the years, but not actually put into TCMS. Uh, so anyways, uh, we can go back and take a look here at sort of uh, how it works. Now, uh, since it's a Perl application, we have a normal library folder, and basically all that's in there is a config reader and a definition of routes that are, are sort of by default, which uh, we can take a look here. Sort of, we've got the link log, the blog, the wiki, uh, the video, the audio, the files, and the about. Basically everything but the files here are actually the same exact route, just different sorts of tags that you're searching for because it's sort of going to a search model with the data at some point. Uh, let me actually start up the server and you can take a look here. Uh, here we go. So let's hop into the link log. So right now we've got basically a dummy data model here rather than Elasticsearch just to you know take a look and make sure that the DOM and, and all the different uh, templates work and so forth. Uh, but you can see when I go to the blog, it's all the same stuff. And in the background here, uh, when we take a look at, say, lib slash uh, routes, when we take a look at the routes, actually, uh, I've built a bunch of post aliases. So news, blog, wiki, video, audio, and about are essentially the same as the posts route, but they just have a different tag, right? Uh, so that's the big deal is that if it's tag news, it'll go and show up on the news page. If it's tag, tag blog, it'll show up on the blog page, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. In fact, I plan to have all the user data, instead of being stored in the config file, actually be stored in your about page itself as either metadata thereof or the page itself. So that'll simplify our model a, a great deal. 
anyways, uh, so let me start the server back up again and I can sort of show you what else is working. So we've got a uh, little icon here for user, right? And that'll take you to the config page, which needs some work. But the login page is also working and the initial setup page uh, is also working. So the things that aren't working right now is going to be stuff like the RSS link. RSS doesn't work yet, but that should be easy because there's actually good RSS modules for Perl. Uh, and the other thing that is big is the theming actually works. So let me shut down the server here real quick and I will write a config file. As you can see here, the config file for TCMS under this new model is a lot simpler. It's basically, what's the title of my landing page? What theme am I using? And what data model am I using? Because I plan to have the existing flat file data model and supported so that you can easily migrate to the new one. Uh, so let's write that inside of our, whatever user this is running as in their home folder .tcms slash main .cfg. If that's not there, uh, you can look at uh, the config and there's a default config that's loaded if you don't actually have one and that's what loads all this stuff. So let's reload up uh, the server and we can take a look at what TCMS does. Voila, now we're teodesian.net, right? So you see, you see that it's got the normal sidebar, it's got that, it's got the mid bar, it's got all these different little things and it behaves exactly the same as normal teodesian.net does. So that's sort of the plan is that these themes are really minimal. I don't really have to do a whole lot of extra effort for uh, adding extra templates. In fact, let me take a look at the templates here. Uh, inside of uh, the tiodesign.net theme here. Uh, so let's go to templates and see all you have is the left bar, which is customized on tiodesign.net, the links page template, uh, the mid title and the title, which are all just like one liner HTML for both of these, right? So it's really not that complicated to actually get this taken care of and done. So. Uh, I'm very pleased with the simplification of the theming uh, mechanism and very very pleased about the simplification of the configuration model and how that's going to work out. So that's really all I got for right now. Hopefully next update I will be able to have RSS working. I'll be able to have the uh, backend first time config stuff working and the flat file data model working. And then we can move on to stuff like the Elasticsearch thing and uh, the last thing I sort of want to get here as sort of the 1.0 is the file manager here because if I can get all the files actually sitting inside of the data model rather than in a bunch of directories, I, I actually have a lot more flexibility with how I display things because I can have metadata associated with the various files and make it like, for example, when you go to the video page, it actually looks like, say, a YouTube channel. Or if you go to an audio page, it looks like a podcast channel. Or if you go to the wiki page, it actually looks like a wiki because it's got the right metadata to arrange all these things correctly. So that's the idea is that the data is all in one model, but the display is going to be very flexible based on what you want to actually have that do. And that's really all I got for you right now. Hopefully we'll have more stuff for you next week. Nice. You've been doing a great job. All right. Keep let's it up, keep, man. Let's keep killing it, man.